Welcome to News Wrap, where we recap this week's biggest stories in 90 seconds. On Monday, Malia Obama was spotted participating in a protest for the Standing Rock Sweet Tribe. The 18-year-old and former first daughter was one of many activists who were against the creation of the Dakota Access Pipeline, which was reestablished by Donald Trump via an executive order. Also on Monday, Katie Rich, a writer for Saturday Night Live, took to Twitter to express her discontent about the new president. However, some think she went too far when she chose to go after Trump's youngest son, Barron. Rich tweeted, Barron will be this country's first homeschool shooter. Rich was suspended indefinitely by the Variety Show. On Tuesday, the 89th Academy Awards nominations were released. La La Land scored 14 nominations, tying the all-time record. Amazon also made Oscar history by being the first streaming service to have a Best Picture nominee, thanks to Manchester by the Sea. After two years of controversy over lack of diversity, this year's nominees now include actors such as Viola Davis, Denzel Washington, Dev Patel, Naomi Harris, and several others. The Oscars will take place February 26. Lastly, this past Saturday, Donald Trump signed yet another controversial executive order that is now being commonly referred to as the Muslim ban. The order bans all immigrants and visa holders from seven Muslim-majority countries from entering the U.S. for a 90-day period. Thousands of Americans have expressed their dismay by protesting at major airports like JFK, Duels International. That being said, the order may not be entirely legal as judges in several states have already blocked parts of it. While JFK did end up releasing the people that were detained, some airports have yet to. That's all we have for this week, but make sure to follow us on Twitter at SGTV News 4. For News Wrap, I'm Mills Hayes, and I'll see you next week.